Okay. Hi, everybody. How are you today? This is Patricia, and I'm here with Michelle. And we're continuing our week of videos to talk about some of the topics that are most pressing for you. Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm doing great. So just to introduce Michelle to everyone, Michelle is an anti-bullying trainer and prevention uh, trainer, and also you do motivational speaking. You're a martial arts expert. Yes. And you mainly work with um, school districts for um, helping them train and get along better and get everyone in a better mood. Yes. And helping them with just life in general, coaching, um, being able to really support people in a place where they want to change. Yeah, it's important work. This is important. People pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> so the main thing that, you know, we're engaging, both of us engage the body to do this. And it's not just your physical body because physical body you know, we take that body to work, we walk outside, but it is all of your bodies. It's the energy body, the part of you that thinks, that feels, and your heart chakra, of course, everything is a part of you, but we sometimes forget these parts as the day takes on. In today's topic, we're going to talk about work, uh, mainly work that people do for a living, and we're going to talk about feeling tired and exhausted, feeling overwhelmed. Um, there's a lot of demands and there's a lot of pressure and there's social pressure for change. And we're here to help people change, but not just change, transform yourself, reinvent yourself. And the way to do it best is through your body. It's, it's faster, it's easier. Uh, what do you find, Michelle? Most definitely. I, I feel that if you don't engage the body, it's the mind that continues to loop and get frustrated and hit those plateaus where you can't go any further and you're trying to figure it out. But this is what needs to shift. Yeah, definitely. Um, the parts of us that have mental stress, um, that we talk about mental health, anxiety, things that just come up or the constant, you know, erosion of stress on you and your mood. And then we find that people take it home on their families. People take it out on kids. People get addicted because that's their way of coping with it. We have a whole new way to cope with it. So we want to talk to you about how does this really work when you talk about mental health and you know, not being overwhelmed, how do you get the motivation every day? First of all, through your energy body, that's sometimes called your light body or your aura. This is how, this is how you will always be able to reinvent because this is the creative part of you. That's the part that gets energized for you to do what you need to do by being who you really are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel that it it's like an ever ready battery, but it's the charge that you get plugged into. And if you feel that charge for your day, you're not waking up so completely depleted and exhausted, but you have the skills to be able to manage that and move through your day much easier. And it seamlessly feels like things just deflect off you. And you're just kind of like walking forward and it's smoother, even how you interact with people, totally different. Yeah. Yeah. In the work that I've been doing with other people for years now, and I've really tweaked this and honed this into a very uh, precise yet easy modality to do, lead people through it in classes so that you are gradually leaving an old level and rising up to a level where you can still work, you can still engage but somehow it doesn't penetrate. It doesn't get to you the same way. You can leave work at work, not bring it home. Let's talk a little bit about anxiety too, because um, you see people that are anxious, nervous. I think yes. there's a few ways that people feel. Yeah, and most of I, what I've found even from my own personal experience is you can't think your feelings. 
the body has to engage with what's going on, but it, for me, doesn't have to be now so intense because Mm -hmm. of the work I've been doing. And it's a different experience. It's much lighter, it's easier. And it's, it's being able to know that, you know, the anxiety there is there to give you a signal and a reason that something is happening, but there's a way for it to move quicker and faster. Yeah, very true, very true. Um, What we've also found both in your work and in my work is that people who are in an abusive situation, if you grew up being abused, if you didn't even recognize it as abuse, you could have a hypersensitive fight or flight system and you may not even know it. So that by the time you're on the job or you're with other people or they remind you of somebody or you're getting overwhelmed, you're already in overdrive on the anxiety scale. How do you simmer down your mental health? Because your logical mind will tell you one thing while your body is doing something else. What if you're someone that really doesn't like to take medications? Do you want those feel good hormones to kick in for you so that you feel balanced? You feel like you are managing the situation and it's not managing you. And also you feel your self-confidence. We have the ways to help you do this in a natural, non-invasive, non-toxic manner. So, um, And I think the important part of that too, Patricia, is so much about the breath and being able to move it and understand that your energy in your body and how it's connected to all of this um, through the work that we've done together. It's, it's a powerful shift. Yeah. I'm going to throw out a question because you bring up a very good point about breath. This is the area we breathe in. Mm -hmm. We also have our heart chakra. We have our heart, our physical heart. We have our whole respiratory system. Have um, you, or maybe I'll throw it out to the audience. Have you or anyone braced yourself at the thought of having to go to work or go to somewhere or go to a relative's house? or go to some meeting or something that you really aren't in it, but it feels very much like an obligation. Do you notice what your body is doing? You're bracing yourself. There's something in you that starts bracing. You're not really putting up walls, but if you do that again and again and again, you've done it for 10 years, so you could go to school. You did it for another few years for training. You did it another few years on this job and that job. All of a sudden, your body has been living with decades of bracing itself. How do we get that to not only calm down and stop, but get you back to feeling normal so that that's not your normal? That is with breath work. Yeah. Yeah. That is so powerful, Patricia, because it is the constant, constant push and the Mm -hmm. feeling that I just have to push through this and that mentality it's like your body screaming and saying that I, I can't handle this anymore. Right. And what do I do? Well, it's yeah. there, but it's the other things that are on that lid and that needs to be addressed and be able to um, work through. Yes. Yeah. And, and, you know, saying about this lid, once you pop that lid off, what else is going to come out? Is there anger there? Is there depression? Is there something else? That is also what we are swiftly moving you through by using your body and the techniques that we offer so that you can feel better. This is in part what we call purging. You know, Mm -hmm. we're releasing and dumping off anything. It's like throwing away the garbage, but you're not just throwing away mind trash. You're throwing away an accumulation of stuff that you just really don't want to carry around. Now, that is called interpersonal tension. Mm -hmm. We naturally have that because it's intended to distinguish me from you, Michelle, or me from another person. Um, People go through another form of anxiety of think of little babies. They go through separation anxiety with their moms. And yet when it's on the job or if someone loses their job and the body goes into, you know, hyper anxiety mode, what do you do with that? 
Yeah. And just at the other day, the other day, I was at school teaching this about uh, to the kids about our force field. And it's that invisible yeah. line between me and someone else that's telling me and giving me, me the signals that something's okay for me and something's not. And we have to know ourselves. And maybe we haven't had that opportunity to really understand without people pleasing or doing things for others all the time and coming back to ourselves and knowing what feels right inside. Right. And it's interesting that you're working with kids and getting them empowered to feel themselves and be able to naturally set boundaries. I work with parents who also want their children to be empowered. And here's the funny or really great thing that happens is that the parents find that by working on themselves, there's a ripple effect with their children. Yes. The children start feeling more confident. They're not looking to the adults for all the cues. It's almost like there's a maturity level that is taking place. This only happens through your force field, your aura, your energy body, your etheric body. Generally, it is your subtle bodies and chakras, which are your energy ports that let in or dissipate, you know, push it away or let it in, let in the good stuff, push away the bad stuff. And we all want to feel good. We all want to feel right. good. We just don't know how to get there. And the parents to that extension of that relationship too, it's challenging because we've grown up with different kinds of ways to parent from our parents and, and how we do it now. It, it, it's the, the work, it's the work to learn and understand it so that we're going to be able to have more quality, loving relationship with them too. Yeah. Well, you know, what's interesting talking about like how we grew up and like things about discipline and stress and like, you know, what we've dealt with. Um, there was, wasn't even a thought at certain times about people getting hit or abused or something. And I was watching that show Outlander mm. on Netflix, of course, <laughs> but they're all hitting each other. It's in Scotland. It's in like, you know, 17th century Scotland, 1700s, right before they try to kick out the British and they're all slugging each other and hitting each other and whacking each other. And you know, I, I'm thinking to myself, this is what a lot of us grew up with. And even on the job, people have been punished on their jobs. It was at one time okay for a boss to, you know, hit an employee or abuse, even when it wasn't slavery. Yes. And for people just to get dismissed, like nothing happened. That didn't yeah. happen. It, it, you know, bye-bye now. And that was it. It's like, the fallout from that personally and what I've experienced with people start, you know, being bullied at work too, is just, there's a lot of like stress and trauma from those experiences that they, you know, we have to be able to walk through and heal from as well. Yes. So one of the ways that we do this, um, besides the breath work, what I find is when we start opening this area, which is connected to your heart and heart chakra, start getting creative, good ideas pop to you. More than one person has found their, not only their spirit back, but their entrepreneurial spirit. People have come up with side hustles. This is another way that we want to help you to develop yourself and improve your life so that you're not relying just on the nine to five job. If something comes to you, both of our governments encourage this. We live in, yes, a capitalist society, but both governments encourage people to either have a side hustle or have something where it enables you to save more money and hopefully develop something in you. You don't know where to start sometimes. We do. We're not going to tell you. We're going to help bring it out of you. This is part of the process of reinvention and transformation that comes with work and not feeling overwhelmed and not feeling so tired and exhausted with the same routine. And I think also too, it's that um, connection, that insight, the connection to ourselves, but in a way where we understand that you're going to, you may have insecurities, you may have fears and things that come up even about doing something. It's completely sure. normal. But I feel that it fits your, it's your gift 
it's just going to keep pulling at your heart to continue to take a look at it. And it might have been something in your childhood that's starting to pop up again. It's like, pay attention to it because there's something there. And I always believe for people that whatever it is that's inside them, that what they're meant to do is really expand that so we can all have those um, experiences with what they do. It's like a new invention of something. It's a book that's written. It's a song that we hear. It's, it's beautiful. Yes, I agree. And, you know, not only that, the world needs it. Okay, we need like some fresh material, some fresh stuff, a new bakery, like, because you're bringing your vibe to it. And when I, I have helped many people with this, with, you know, like what you would call make your passion your paycheck. How would it be if you were doing something that you really liked, but you have to start from a point where you're opening yourself to it, where you're getting those parts of you that need refreshing, that need a jump start, that need the energy in to enable you to do this. It comes, it starts to come. I've had a number of people that have written books, mm-hmm. people that have started their own business where it took off. I've helped some people that are even astrologers. Um, they, you know, they found the courage and, um, you know, being in business is business, Mm -hmm. but you have to have a balance. And if you don't have the way to recharge yourself, refresh, like you said, the battery, ever ready batteries, you know, yeah. if you can't do that, then please join us. You have to learn how, because in a, in a downturn market, okay. In a recession, you have expansion and you have natural contractions in the economy. On the ground level scale, these contractions are just people tightening their belts. They're people that are saying, you know what? I won't buy that. I'll do with less. I'll let me tell you something. Your energy body, your etheric body, your chakras, they help you do with less because you're naturally infusing with the energy that is a natural part of you. You don't need, you won't feel as much like binge eating. Can you enjoy the holidays? Oh yeah. And we're going to talk about (laughs) juicing and some other ways to enjoy your food and getting you on track. But today it's about you reinventing. It's about you loving what you do, or at least while you have a plan to quietly do some of your plan while you're still having you know, maybe the nine to five job, nobody's going to tell you to quit. That is a misconcept out there. I don't know what you see, Michelle. Do you see yes. people that they yes. make a mistake by quitting prematurely? Yeah. And it, you know, it's just, then they're, they're full of anxiety and stress and fear. And I believe like for myself, even it was a transition. It was a step-by-step process to finally continue to, okay, now I'm, I'm okay. I can be gone. I'm gone with this. And uh, I think the big thing is having the support and the mentorship to be able to do it. Yes. So you get that in in our group. We're having a six-week group. It is a safe space. Mm -hmm. We invite sharing if you want to talk, um, if you want to share, if you want to ask questions. We get off on topics, too, of significant dreams. It's It's sort of a related topic, but people will dream things. Because when we get going in town, a lot of things start popping on people. Yes. And I always believe that when you're connected to your truth and your essence, that that when it's there, it's like a whole other magical world that's there in front of you to, as you said, pop in these things that we've been thinking about for such a long time but we're just so afraid. We're so afraid. So as Patricia said, this is a time to be able to feel that upliftment and that connection to, you know, what, why you're here, what you really want to do. Yeah. It's a big existential question. Why do I exist? Or why am I here? When you start doing this work of your essence, your aura, your etheric body, and you are doing things to open parts of yourself that you may not even realize have to open or that, you know, they could open, you will find the answer and you're going to know thyself in so much of a deeper way. And 
the love that wells up from inside you, it actually exudes. And that that might not, you know, that's not something intended to be corny. I've had more than one person start finding that they're attracting, you know, the people in their life that they really want and somehow the other people that they don't want fall away. We're going to teach you if you have a troublesome boss, how you can do this because I've had several troublesome bosses. I've had contentious people all my life. It seems to be like I'm a magnet. However, um, how do you stop the head butting? There is a way to break those patterns without losing what you've already gained and without going off on people. There is a much softer mm -hmm. and yet stronger imperative way to do this. Yes. And most definitely not about going off on people. It's yeah. time for us to do something different and work with this because you're going to feel so much better about you. People don't feel good when they really hurt people, you know, like the repercussions from all of that. I mean, it, it you have to live with that inside you with the regrets yeah. and, and the grievances about that. It's just not the way. Yeah. And what I've found is that while you can go off on each other, um, sometimes there's other retaliations afterwards. And using my ways actually brings positive results. It does, it's a little bit gradual, but here's the thing. Those obstacles move out of your way. If that obstacle is a boss, if that obstacle is a person, if it's a client, if it's something, they will give way in favor of what you're doing because you're actually rising above it. And it may not feel like you're rising above or superior, but what is in actuality happening is you're leaving it behind you. Even if you're staying there for a little bit while you, you know, come about. So to give you an example, um, I've literally had people tell me that when they've done the things that I've recommended, that the person blinks at them and like can't like they can't find their words they can't yell anymore in other words we're breaking these patterns where that old tension just can't it can't exist right there and then it gets even better from that point because the things that really need to start shifting do i've had people tell me oh that that boss went and uh, they were transferred over here. Like really magical things happen. Yeah. And it's happening when you're doing it from the right level, not necessarily from the same old patterns of relating. Yeah, I think. And that's the big thing. It's a different level. It's not about going in and having this huge confrontation with that person that creates stress and anxiety. And oh, like, yeah. What am I going to say? Am I going to say the right things or am I going to get held into an HR meeting and all this stuff is going to get blown up? Um, right. Thinking smart and being able to do it from that place, as you said, it's like, oh, they've just moved to a different office or, or someone else is now taking that place or as someone else is coming in to help me. And it's amazing. It truly is. Yeah, it is. There's, there's ways of creating positive change where it feels more like a win-win for everyone, but HR is not your friend. They're there to represent the company. So bringing a grievance isn't always the um, solution. Bringing confrontational isn't the solution. If you're being faced with a layoff and you may have a severance package, start now because we mm. want to help as many people land on their feet as possible. And again, this isn't just about, you know, work. This is about you as a human being in your health, your mental health, in your physical health, not feeling anxious, being able to feel like there is a plan and you're a part of this very grand plan here. And you're meant to thrive, as we've said that before, you're, you have to be comfortable with also being successful and thriving in life. Maybe you've not experienced that for yourself ever. It's always been something, something, something that's exhausting. And it's, you know, I know for myself too, it's like the same old, same old, same old. It's like, I got to do something different here. And when you start to feel like you're thriving and things are happening, you're like, okay, this feels good. I want some more of that. And yes. we, all, we all deserve it. We all do. 
Yes. And there is a time for expansion. And, you know, just like you have to start somewhere, just like what you have right now, you got it by doing certain things. This yeah. is an expansion. And this, while the rest of the world is sort of contracting here, and we're going to go over some ways for next year, how you should sort of budget yourself. Um, and I mean, budgeting and time-wise, budgeting monthly for certain things that you should have so that you keep this good path going for yourself. Yeah, I'm excited about the new year. We, we have had new plans together uh, to support people and where they are collectively. And I'm passionate as I do what I do because it's the, that drive. And when you're in that energy, it's like you feel unstoppable. You really truly do. Yeah. It, it's true. It is something where it's, it sounds hokey to say it's a natural high, but it actually is Yeah. because you feel seen by the universe, not just, you know, not just one person. You feel like the support is coming in around you versus you putting up that, you know, tension so you could deal with and just get through it. Now, addictions are a different thing we're going to cover on a different day, although it does tie into your stress and anxiety and how people cope and manage it. We have a, a special price. Um, it is also to, because Michelle is in Canada, it is to honor some of our people in Canada and the United States, because that's mainly where we're located. Um, is in these two countries that we're helping people here, but you know, we'll help people all over the world, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And we want to give everybody a break. It's not easy. There's a lot going on right now. And we want to get as many people as we can to be with us. Yeah. Please tell your friends. You can also gift this to someone. You can write to either me or Michelle. If you know someone who's going through it and you say, well, they might, they could probably use six weeks of guidance where we're meeting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. We're meeting four times a week um, with that day off and, you know, the holiday is off, but we are moving you through this, through several topics. It may seem like a smattering, but it is enough to give you the foundation. How many people like to wait until... <laughs> New Year's Day to start their diet and their New Year's resolutions. Don't wait. Start now. I always find for me, it doesn't really work. <laughs> I have to do it year round. Yeah. I have, to, I have to have my, you know, my way of eating for my essence and my aura. And I have to have like a certain amount of sleep. And I love to get into the lucid dream level. And I love to socialize with people. I love to talk in case you couldn't tell. Um, this is why we invite live questions and answers in the group. Um, there's a very nice synergism. There's always nice people and they have great insights too. They share and everyone's learning. So, you know, we hope you can join us. Yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So take heed that um, this is a great value for what we're doing. Six weeks at this price, it isn't going to come along all the time. This is something special we're doing, particularly because we know the constraints out there. So um, thank you, Michelle. Thank Anything you, else Patricia. you want to add? No, I just want to say that it's uh, when you're not able to make change in your life, um, the stagnancy and the complacency and the depression and the oh, everything yes. is just, it's awful, awful to feel alone in that. So we are here because we've been through our yeah. journey with it too. And, uh, Absolutely. we, we want to help you. We really do. Stop the inertia of your life. Stop the implosion. Yeah. Um, if you feel like you don't know what's happening in the world, why are so many people, please, we want to help you get on the flip side of that for sure break the inertia break the stagnation get you where you need to be get you to a better quality a better standard everything, everything. yes yes yeah. we're excited yes hope to see you there thanks so much michelle thank you patricia yes we'll talk soon bye bye